Welcome back to Homeschooling Through High School. In today's collaboration, we are talking about Guest Hollow World Geography. I purchased the high school curriculum and I use it for my sixth and seventh grader as well. So I'm gonna show you some tips, some tricks, and how I do things, some activities, so that it can hopefully give you an idea to help you out as well. Make sure to check out the other channels in this collaboration. You're gonna find some great information, right? Let's get started. So in this first clip, I wanted you to see all of the world geography books that are used. This is a combination of junior high as well as the high school world geography books. Not all of them are on this top shelf, but just wanted to give you an idea of how rich and full they are. So this next clip that you are seeing is called World Watch. Whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand. It goes along with the guest hollow curriculum so well. It is a little snippet, less than 10 minutes, of a snippet of what is going on in the world. All right, current, current events. And then it also has some fun, educational, comical um, things at the end. You know, I highly advise it. I will put it in the description box. For it's actually a shower curtain. I got it from Amazon. I've been asked about it, I believe, a zillion times. Okay, too much on the exaggeration. But it's a shower curtain that we use, and it is just a great tool. Uh, this is a Lego that we were gifted, and we've yet to build it, but it is a globe. It looks fantastic, and so can't wait to dive into that. Then we have this scratch-off map, and here I'm going to show you how I decided not to put it on a whiteboard. We had it on a whiteboard. It just wasn't working out. And instead, I reused an old um, space unit trifold board and I stapled it to that. That way it is portable. Now you're looking at a project that we started and maybe it will work for you, it did not work for us. We used a pumpkin, we painted it blue, and we wanted to get to this photo that you're seeing here to make the pumpkin, you know, reuse it and turn it into a globe. It just didn't work out. So, so let's take a look at how I break down my sixth and seventh graders work versus my ninth graders work. I'm gonna try to explain this the best way possible and if you have more questions, please let me know below. So on this clip, you'll see a workbook page. And so I go through the workbook pages and I see what the workload is. I line it up with the schedule. And then from there, I determine what each person does based off of their grade, based off of their workload that I know they can handle and based off of what I know they need for state requirements. All right, so here you will see J3, who is my ninth grader, and you'll see that his name is in many spots. Then you'll see where I will say, girls do this. And then you'll also see where I break it down with their names, J3, Skylar, Sage. I also have it color coordinated. So yes, I do go through the schedule and I do retype it to sorts. I use the Microsoft document and I put it into Google Docs and I do have to cut and paste and delete and delete and move things around. But this is the way that I see that it works for our family and it's been working so far. I've had to tweak quite a few things to make sure that um, it just wasn't overwhelming for all parties. Uh, but this is what I do. It's been working. I'm, I'm thankful for the detailed Guest Hollow curriculum. I know that this might be much for some, but in order for us to keep it as a family subject, this is what I do. I also need to add that I go through the videos and I figure out what is appropriate for each of my kids, and I also go through the books. I do need to say that some of the junior high books I use for my high school as well. I feel that some of it is just um, an easier read, easier to follow along, since there are so many books that need to be read. 
I don't see any problem in using the junior high books for my high schooler. So I wanted to add that as well. That might be something you want to look into. So here are some other things that we incorporate into our world geography. Here I have a newspaper. Um, I only show certain things and have them read certain things, and mostly for my high schooler. You have to have a globe, all right? This one kind of glows at night. Uh, it's really cool. And so we have that. You have to have a globe, right? You're homeschooling. <laughs> they have them in the classrooms. Uh, this is a Dollar Tree bowl. You guys, this is, it's so cool. It's so much fun and we play games. So I'll throw it to one person. They'll have to answer a question, you know, stuff like that. And so just, just a nice fun little tool. They all get a kick out of it. Um, would be really great for the younger years, right? It would be really cool for that. It was only a dollar. In this little case here, I have these flag stickers. I ordered these from Amazon and they've, They've just proved themselves to be really, really nice. Um, they do come off clear. They are clear, except for the flag and the words. And this Continent Race game, which I heard is absolutely phenomenal. And we have this scheduled, actually, um, in the coming weeks, we will be using this game. So I just opened up the box and I just wanted to show you the quality of this game. All right. And I can imagine with all of the end of year sales at the time of filming that you may be able to find this at a great price. This is um, eight and a half by 11 and it's thick and it's really, really thick. It's solid and just wanted to share this with you. Okay, so that's that one. There's Africa. Maybe you can hear the thickness of it. Look at that, bright and colorful. Um, here's Europe. I like how at the bottom here, it has, you know, the location highlighted there in a different color and everything else is kind of um, a neutral color. That's really cool. This is so cool. There's Jamaica. That's where my family's from. All right, yeah, so just wanted to share that part with you and Oh, look at this, here's some more, there's some geography cards and such. So, like I said, I purchased this just because I heard of the high ratings and I heard that you'll be able to utilize it um, with many, many ages. I think I'm gonna have fun. I know it's going to help secure um, our knowledge and even my knowledge of the continents and just where things are located. And, oh, look at this. I didn't even notice they're grouped by color. Love it. So anyway. I think it's gonna be good all, all around. So Guest Hollow has been kind enough to offer the viewers of this video a $5 off coupon. The coupon is good not only for their geography materials, but for anything else on the guesthollow.com website store. Now, this coupon can be used multiple times between now and January 1st, 2023. So here's the coupon code. To get $5 off, use GUEST5, that is G-U-E-S-T and the number 5. And in the description box, I will also list some Facebook groups that you might be interested in. They even have one specifically just for geography. All right, till next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.